Hello ladies, it's Muriel and I'm here with a design team project for Craft Supplies 1. As I mentioned before, I had shared with you ladies that I had a couple of these jars that needed some TLC, let's just say. So one of them was a jar that I kept buttons in and um, it had a metal top with holes punched in it. And I think um, it's used for flowers, like real flowers, because you can put water in the jar, but I keep buttons in them. So I altered that one. Let me show it to you here. Raise this up a bit here. And look down on it. And this was really, really easy to do. I used all of the flowers that I had been given in my design team package from Craft Supplies 1 beautiful burgundy flowers. There were two kind of green flowers. I just used that one on my bird bird um, birdhouse. This beautiful big blue one. Um, there's this light blue one here. There's a purple one. Just beautiful. Um, there were some diamonds or baubles, whatever you want to refer to them as. I stuck one in there, in that hole, and then there was this beautiful orange one, a large one that I stuck there. And I used two of the acrylic butterflies. Again, all from Craft Supplies, one on Etsy. And then around the rim, I just used some of the trim that was sent to me, this beautiful uh, scallop trim, as well as some of the bling. And this bling comes in a huge sheet. See if I can find where it is. I haven't yet cleaned up the sty, so it's still kind of everywhere. This is really some pretty, pretty bling, especially in orange. So it's really light and uh, easy to cut and easy to work with. So I just put one strip of that. I didn't want to bling it out, but I just wanted to add lots of color to it. And then I found this trim in my stash. It's pretty stiff. And I just covered the entire bottom. And it has like some blue uh, color here within these little diamond shapes. So you don't need to see that it's buttons. And then I found this piece of eyelet fabric. And you remember it had something else. It had this. Thing hanging from it when I purchased it. So we just trash that and bring out something fresh and clean looking. And this is a beautiful, I wish I had more. It's just this eyelet fabric. It's really, really pretty. So I just tied a knot, like no big deal. So that's the one jar. And the buttons are still in there. And then the second one, I had Prima flowers in it. And this is the one that I am um, altering. Um, because I was inspired by Luis uh, Diaz. So here we are. We have this jar. I had some double uh, double uh, trim, which is lace on the bottom and like a satin ruffle on top. So that just went around the entire jar. I had this chain that I purchased from Michael some time ago. So I hooked it in the back. Let me see if I can be able to show you here. I have two eyelets. So I hook the chain on this little metal piece that stuck out right here. I put the chain on that little silver piece and then put an eyelet on top of that and then put some hot glue. So on both of them. Because I kept thinking, what am I going to use? I was thinking on using a um, earring back, but that wasn't, the hole wasn't big enough. And then I thought about using an eraser, but then that's like tacky. So I pulled out an eyelet and that worked perfect. So that chain is on there and it just kind of goes around. And I was going to hang this um, arty cake charm here. I was going to hang that from it but um, every time I went it just didn't work. So we're going to put our arty cake chain uh, charm back away and maybe find something else. But on the top I have um, a doily underneath here and these are the ones that I buy at my local dollar store. They are four for right now a dollar thirty nine. I believe they're still um thirty percent off. And then on top of that I have this handmade flower that I made using several fabrics. There's some um 
some burlap, and then there's this pattern um, white fabric, some beige, and then I put one of these um, flower centers on top. I believe I got those from maybe Forever 21, not sure. But this is one of those flowers that I was just not happy, went ap ha happy with after I made. So to put it on here, it stays right here, is no big deal. And then a prima flower with a uh, recollection leaf here. And then there I have some um, glass buttons here. And this is one of my handmade um, roses. And then there is a recollection flower here. And then this um, butterfly from my stash. So, and the chain just kind of hangs down, you know, very loosely because it is certainly secured in the back with the eyelets. So now they look so much better. They will look so much better on the shelf now that I have altered them. So that's very cool. Now I also wanted to show you ladies, let me just back up some. I got in the mail today my order from Webster's Pages and I haven't seen any videos so I don't know if everyone gets their email but they had a sale two weeks ago on their trims. It was 50% off. So they were like three forty-five, three eighty-five, something like that. So let me show you what I got. I first ordered the um, ribbons and trims, and these are uh, several colors. You can see six different colors, and they are probably a quarter of an inch in width. Very sparkly. And then I bought two of these. These are called the um, Palm Beach Collection. So it has that beautiful blue rickrack this beautiful uh, pink scallopy um, and then some beautiful white lace at the bottom here so again they were half price 50 percent off normally they're probably six dollars and then there is uh, this one here this is called the Kate uh, magical excuse me the um, the de design collection is magical so I think I have one of these but I love this one here this pink soft and then it has a beautiful sparkly crochet lace at the bottom here as well. And then this one here is called All About Me. And this is a really pretty red, beautiful box pleated uh, trim in like a silver. And then there's like a measuring tape style here. And I've used this before. This is really, really pretty. I used this with the glitz paper, and I made a card, and um, just really pretty. And then the other one is Game On. Beautiful polka dot green and white. Um, that's a nice crochet brown. That's a beautiful uh, cream color. And again, the red uh, box trim. And then this one at the bottom, circles with numbers on them. And then the last one is called um, Everyday Peony. Again, that's a beautiful blue, brown. There's a pink in there and this gorgeous yellow polka dot, uh, green and white. And then this beautiful crocheted lace here. So again, ladies, these were three, I'm going to see, 385, 395 each. Webster's pages, they were all 50% off. So. I'm glad they here. They are here. I will be using them pretty soon. So thanks again for watching. And um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. And uh, go over to Luisa Diaz channel, and she has a video maybe a couple of days ago where she altered three of these jars. Hers are absolutely beautiful. So go check it out. And certainly, if you have jars that are you're using in your craft room that need a little spoof. This is all you do. Get your hot glue gun out, get some flowers, get some trim, chains, buttons, you name it. Okay, take care. We'll talk soon.